Hey, hello YouTube. I thought I would take a moment of my day to tell you a little bit about this top salary seat that I've been running on this uh, 650 GS Sertao. For the past uh, bit over a year. And let's go find a spot where we can look at the seat and uh, I can just tell you a few quick things about it and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I can tell you right off the get-go I like the seat and when we get to the shore there I'll, I'll show you show you the seat and uh, let's look at the details a bit closer. Okay here's the seat. Like I told you I have about 20,000 kilometers of experience with this seat. Some of that has been driven with the OEM seat but most of it has been with this top celery seat because I really really like it. Uh, I think the OEM seat is uh, very very hard on your buttocks and uh, this top celery seat has fixed every problem I have with the OEM seat. The form is a little bit different as you can see. There is a uh, clear separation about the pillion seat and uh, and the driver seat between there is a large cushioning here this doesn't really do anything for me except uh, maybe the pillion seat is a little bit more comfortable because of it it's not leaning to leaning forwards um, might be a little bit easier on your ass to sit there i'm mainly focusing today on the on the driving experience with this seat i haven't had so many pillions on this short rides nobody really cares about the seat that much when they're pillion on the motorbike they are probably thinking about a thousand different things except the seat so the form is a little bit different but i like it of course, some of you may say that uh, it's a little bit more difficult to switch front and back on the seat when you're driving off-road. And of course, that's true. But this is more of a touring style bike uh, seat. So, uh, and I haven't had many problems with it off-road, to be honest. Uh, I don't really notice that much difference, except that it's a little bit more tall than the OEM seat. There's a gel insert in the pillion seat and in the driver's seat. I like it, but maybe if I would take this seat again, because it's all custom, you can customize what you take in the seat. I would probably take the gel option off the pillion seat because I don't have a pillion usually on my bike and this is just excess weight. It's very soft and it's nice to sit on, but uh, it does weigh a bit. And uh, maybe I should tell you the weight difference the OEM seat is I think around 2.4 kilograms yeah yeah I'm gonna check that if I'm wrong I'm gonna put an insert here and this uh, top salary seat is 5.1 kilograms so it's quite a difference it's almost well more than double the OEM seats weight but with weight comes comfort so there's always a trade-off with these things and because of the three centimeter height difference on the OEM seat the OEM is a bit less tall and the weight difference if I go rough off-road I like to run the OEM because I can reach the ground more easily because it's a little bit lighter it's off the top of the bike almost three kilograms there's a bit of a difference maybe in the handling but that's not really noticeable to be honest the bike is pretty heavy anyway quality of finishing i think on the top here you can see that the quality is really outstanding the stitching everything has held very well 20,000 kilometers on this seat so it still looks to me it looks brand new i haven't really noticed issues with the seat so nothing has broken loose or gotten uncomfortable or scratched or anything like that it still looks brand new so I would say that uh, this uh, material that I picked for the seat has been really good it's not really slippery but it's not too too grippy either so I think it's perfect combination of both and it has held very well I think this seat will go 
a long way with the next uh, next owner of this bike. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm selling this because I'm getting the new Tenere 700. Uh, I'm already uh, regretting it a little bit, but <laughs> because this is so comfortable to ride on. So for touring, for long distances, long days on the bike, I think this seat is absolute golden. It's amazing. On long journeys, I find this seat really comfortable. Not only the gel option brings the comfort, but you can see that the seat is not really sliding downwards. The OEM seat has a lot more of a cup shape to it. And this is uh, way more level. Of course, that comes with a little bit of a raise on the seat height. But when it's level, you are, you are not feeling like you're sliding forwards all the time. You feel like you're sitting level and uh, you don't have to struggle with the seating position. And what, what it also does is when it's raising the seating height, I also have minus 20 millimeter uh, footbacks here. So the space on the seat and the footbacks is uh, like five centimeters more. I find that much more comfortable than the OEM sitting, sitting position, even though I'm not that tall, I'm like 175 centimeters. But even I struggled with the OEM setup. So this is really something I, I urge you to do if you ride one of these bikes or the F model, the base model. Get the Torotec low pecs and get a little bit higher seat if you can live with the height of the bike. Of course, all this is uh, personal, so some of you may like the OEM setup, but I'm, I'm not really one of them. I can show you how the seat looks under, underneath. Let's just put the keys there. So, you take the seat off just like you would the OEM seat. This seat base is, uh, it, it comes as a whole if you want. I ordered it as a, as a whole seat and I really like that option because you don't have to sacrifice the OEM seat. You can still, still use the OEM seat and when you sell the bike the next owner might appreciate that you have both. One minus of this seat, I think the fitment should be a little bit shorter because I think the seat is really really close to this back se section here. It hasn't been a problem to me but, but I notice it when I take the seat off and when I put it back that maybe it's gonna scratch over time. But uh, as I said I've been riding this over a year and you can see it's a little bit maybe starting to scratch here. It's a little bit dirty and you can see some of the imprints of that back section here. And maybe even you can see here that it's been maybe a little bit too close so it's scratching this and making this plastic here shiny. But that might be just my seat. Maybe this is a, uh, different on everyone's seat but my seat it's a little bit sitting close there. The second negative which I'm gonna tell you there are not that many is these cushions. Uh, they came off pretty much immediately but I haven't really tried putting them back on gluing them back. So glue doesn't really attach to rubber that well. So I haven't really tried gluing it back. But they are supposed to be here, as you can see. There. But it's not really a problem. The only issue that comes with this is that you can lose these. But you can probably replace them by buying new ones or, or uh, putting some alternative option there. But every time I take this seat off, I'm very careful that I don't lose these, or that I put these in the same place that the seat is going, and uh, the OEM seat goes back in every now and then. What about the other cushions? You can see that the other cushions are really crushed here. After one year, maybe more, of riding, some of these have broken off, some of these are perfectly fine, like you see here. And here and here, but some of them have been cut off and I've lost them somewhere. This is not really a problem. I don't notice that the seat is anything else than, than level. But that's maybe something uh, Top Celery might be able to fix by changing the pads to something more rugged, something more reliable. But this is not really a big issue. And if you find this to be a problem, you can probably buy something else that fits here better and 
attach it by screws or something, I don't know. But I, I don't find it a problem, so I'm not really trying to fix it. You can see the connection points here. The strings that are making the shape of the seat, at least some of the shape of the seat, are coming here. And they are perfectly fine. They are like new. I have no problem with, with that. And you can see the stitching here. It's all like it's supposed to be. I see no problems here on the seat. So nothing has come loose, nothing is dripping, nothing is uh, coming off the seat. Just like it's supposed to be. It's a little bit dirty because I drive off-road sometimes. But look at, look at it. It's perfect. No problem. No problem with the unders underside of this. But as you can see, when the rubbers are coming off, it is touching the frame every now and then. Maybe when I sit here, it's touching here and moving a little bit, little by little, it is scratching this surface. So maybe if I were to drive this a long time going forward, I would maybe put some rubber inserts here by gluing down some rubber protection so it wouldn't scratch on the surface of the bike. There's a little bit of a scratch there on the bike, but it's fine. You can always fix this with uh, putting a little bit of a paint there and uh, it's fine. But that's not a big big deal to me. Overall I'm very very pleased with the seat and uh, the comfort level. If I say the OEM seat is like a 3 out of 10, I would say this is probably very close to 10 out of 10. And this seat is by far the best seat I have ever sat on. Even bigger bikes have not been this comfortable under me so far. So I am really, really recommending this seat to anyone who wants it. As you can see, it drops almost automatically in place. Pretty much as easy to attach as the OEM seat is. Now it's closed. It doesn't come off. So there's my long-term review of the Top Celery Gel Option Standard Seat. I'll put the details down below. Uh, you can look it up. You can look what seat it is. And there's different designs and stuff available. I don't really care about the looks. I don't really want anything screaming at me at the bike. So I just chose the all black option here. I think it looks good. And there's a little bit of a marker here, of top celery marker here, and maybe some ridden down here. But you barely see anything out of it. You can get the more screaming colors if you like, and they are good looking to many. But I like this normal option. Okay, it's been Patch Bandit. Follow me on Instagram and YouTube. I'm gonna do a long tour of Europe coming next winter so that's gonna be interesting and I'm gonna post something about my new Tenere when I get it in three weeks so okay I hope this haven't been too windy but the spot is beautiful so I thought I would do this video here okay bye then <laughs>